An alcohol-free skincare routine is difficult to put together. Alcohols kind of have a bad rep in the skincare industry. And the reason why is because a while ago, a lot of articles came out kind of explaining how they dry out skin. Now that is true for certain types of alcohol like ethanol, but not all types. There are alcohols that are actually like fatty acids, and so they can actually be hydrating to the skin. So just because you see alcohol doesn't mean that it's drying. That being said, there are still people who choose not to use alcohol in their skincare. This could be because of their skin type, because they don't want it, because they have specific reactions, or for religious reasons. I was speaking with a couple of my Muslim friends about being halal, and whether or not they choose to use products that contain alcohol, even if they choose not to consume it internally. And obviously, understanding the different religious perspectives of that is something that I don't fully comprehend. Yet at the same time, from what was voiced to me, I, in my own life, never realized what a problem this can be. There are so many different products that contain alcohols or have alcohol listed on the label. It can be extraordinarily difficult, if not impossible, for someone to find something that works for them and their skin condition. But I wanted to create an alcohol-free skincare routine that works well together, that is inexpensive. And we're also going to talk about how these products work so you know exactly what's in them and when you should use them and why. Yet, regardless of your reasons for not using it, this is something that I hope will help. And we'll start off with the cleanser. This is the Squalane Cleanser from The Ordinary. It's like $7, and it is a nice kind of emulsion that once you heat it up on your face, it kind of turns into an oil. This is really great because it doesn't dry or strip the skin. It is really silky on the skin, and it does actually have some sugars in there, so that also helps with the hydration aspect of it. But just one note, it's not my favorite cleanser on the market, personally. I think there are other ones that remove heavy makeup better, but if you're wearing light makeup, up, and if you're looking for something that is $7, this is a good option. This next one is a real home run because it is so hard to find an alcohol-free toner. There are toners and there are astringents. Astringents usually have a much higher percentage of alcohol, and toners, although normally having less alcohol, still normally have alcohol. This is finally a formula that is alcohol-free. The purpose of a toner is to balance or change the pH of the skin and to help other products penetrate deeper. You can also use a pad or a wipe or something to check if there's any makeup or grime left over that your cleanser didn't get. Well, the thing is that traditionally there's so much alcohol in these that someone who chooses not to use alcohol or for someone who already has dry skin and doesn't want to put drying alcohol DNAT on their already scaly, dry, itchy face, um, it's, it's a struggle. And so this kind of comes as a really good option that has glycolic acid. Glycolic acid comes from sugar cane, and it's an AHA acid that really helps to exfoliate the skin. It can stimulate the deeper layers of the skin, and it could also potentially help with scarring, with acne, with redness, with marks, or with pigmentation. This has a 3.6 pH, which is pretty low, so the glycolic acid actually has a chance to penetrate deeper, and it is one of the best toners that I've ever used. It penetrates deep, it works really well, and it's finally alcohol-free. Then we get into treatments, and I have two. I would not recommend using these together, but I would recommend using whichever one is best for your skin type. The first is the Grand Active Retinoid, of course, and the second is the Alpha Arbutin 2% plus Hyaluronic Acid. That all sounds very complex and very confusing, but I wanna explain who would be best using the Alpha Arbutin and who would be best using the Retinoid. If you've got acne, fine lines, or wrinkles, I would suggest the Retinoid Emulsion 2%. And if you've got spots, hyperpigmentation, hypopigmentation, or struggle with dark marks that are left behind from acne, or certain types of scars, you can use the Alpha Arbutin and Hyaluronic Acid. Let's explain these two a little bit further. Um, specifically, this is the Retinoid Grand Active Emulsion. It is in the Retinoid family. It's actually an ester of retinoic acid. I know that all sounds really confusing, but essentially, there is a prescription product that is very potent for the treatment of acne and this is kind of like its distant relative and it's not as irritating as the original um, but if you do have acne pustules or pustular type lesions this can help also it's used widely for anti-aging purposes if you have little fine lines or if you're starting to get wrinkles or have wrinkles that you want to treat the retinoid emulsion can help and it's great because it is inexpensive and it's alcohol free how many times can she say alcohol free in a video take shots just kidding that's alcohol <laughs> Um, I don't drink either, it's all good. So this is the Alpha RB10 2% and Hyaluronic Acid, and this is what I would recommend for spots, for pigmentation, or for those who struggle even with melasma. Our skin has different types of cells in it, and one of those is the melanocyte, which creates melanin. And this is great because it partially protects us from the sun, it gives us a beautiful glow, 
glow and it gives skin its color. Unfortunately, sometimes when the skin is irritated in certain areas, such as from acne, from picking, or even from waxing like an upper lip slash mustache, the skin can become over irritated and start producing melanin in areas that it shouldn't. There's also hormonal changes that could cause melanocytes in the skin to start acting differently. For those who don't want those different patches of pigmentation, this is something that can help. The Alpha Arbutin is great because it penetrates deeply. It can sting a little bit, so just be careful. And then it's also got hyaluronic acid in it. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant, so it holds on to water and moisture. And there is water inside of this product as the first ingredient. And so that's great because it kind of helps the structural integrity of the skin and can even give it a little bit of a boost of hydration. Next, let's talk moisturizers. And the moisturizer that I have for you is actually a liquid. A lot of us are used to using a cream and um, that can be great, but a lot of creams are created with ceteral alcohol. This is again a fatty alcohol that is hydrating and moisturizing. But for those who are trying to avoid it, it's not really gonna be something you can purchase, now is it? That's where this stuff comes in. This is the amino acids and B5 blend from The Ordinary. Amino acids are what our body turns into proteins eventually, and they can actually be kind of hydrating on the skin. B5 is the vitamin panthenol, and it can actually be very nourishing to the skin. And the way these two are blended together, it's such that it can penetrate really, really deep. Our skin has multiple layers, and you can have just surface hydration, but be dehydrated deep down on the inside. This has these super tiny molecules, again, these amino acids that are so tiny, that can get all the way down there they can kind of rope in that hydration and lock it in. The other thing is that this goes on like a liquid, but it really absorbs so quickly and so seamlessly that it doesn't leave the skin feeling greasy or feeling anything overly saturated, which is nice. And if you're someone who likes the feel of a moisturizer and you want something on top of this, you can use another cream base or dimethicone base moisturizer on top of it if you so choose. Just make sure that you're reading those ingredient labels. If you are going out in the day, the one thing that you need to add is a sunscreen. This is the Mineral UV Filters SPF 30 with antioxidants, and it is a fantastic mineral sunscreen. This is great because for me, the flashback isn't that bad, and it's also 10 bucks. It is really hard to find mineral or physical sunscreens at a good price point. And on top of that, there are some of those sneaky hydrating alcohols that often make it into sunscreen products. Sunscreens usually also feel super greasy. I like that this one doesn't. It sits on the skin quite nicely. It creates a little bit of a barrier, but overall it absorbs very well um, and very seamlessly into the skin. And of course, every single routine should have a sunscreen, but especially if you're using a retinoid or again, this glycolic acid, anything exfoliating like that, you really need to protect yourself from the sun. Especially if you are trying to treat some hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation, the sun is a major cause of some of those pigmentation variation issues. And using sunscreen is the way to go because prevention is easier than treatment. And if you're happy that there's finally a brand that labels its skincare as alcohol free, make sure you give this video a and that you whoosh that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, my social medias, these products and more information are all listed below. I love you beautiful butterflies. Here's another video on the Ordinary's Vitamin C you might enjoy, as well as this one. And I cannot wait to see you all in whoosh this video. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.